YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Today we're going to be getting in there talking about the Flames of the Heart mini bots. Check out the Mayakashi Chain Synchro Summoning. Goki are also ready to fight. This is going to be pretty interesting, my boys, because I really think that it is a cool thing that they've introduced into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, but I feel like we can definitely talk about this, you know, just a little bit more and just kind of go into just a little bit detail, but not too much. I'll definitely review all the cards on my live stream later on today, but I definitely just want to kind of just do a cursory glance at some of these cards and just give you my raw opinion so taking a look at the first card we have uh yoko the graceful mike uh maya kashi yeah maya kashi i believe this card is pretty interesting as it's a uh fire zombie synchro which we do have a ton of support for that in this new box this card is pretty much saying if a level 11 or uh zombie monster is destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect you can special summon this card uh, from the graveyard. And when this card is special summoned from the graveyard, you can destroy one card your opponent controls. So that's just a really good card, just in terms of, um, you know, in terms of card effects. The Mayakashis are all set up around continuous synchro summoning. Um, and I can definitely just share with you just my little cursory knowledge here of this deck. They have a uh, Mayakashi Metamorphosis, and this card pretty much allows you to special summon uh, Mayakashi monsters from either being banished or in the graveyard. Now, what's cool about this card, it has a ton of synergy um, with another zombie card that has been added to this game, which is uh, this Tatsu, Tatsuri, Tatsuriko row this or, or whatever <laughs> i totally butchered that but basically this card allows you to synchro summon from the hand and when you synchro summon from the hand it banishes the cards so what's insane is you could banish the mayakashi monsters and then go ahead and use um the mayakashi metamorphosis to bring them back and then also with mayakashi metamorphosis you can also bring this card back and once you start once you synchro summon for this card one time you can always use metamorphosis to bring it back because it's going to bring it back regardless if it's been banished or destroyed. So this is just a really, really good card, a really, really good combo. And definitely, I'm sure there's going to be a Mayakashi Shiranuri combination, and that's going to be pretty sick. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Goki monsters. The Goki monsters do have some really strong potential. Um, pretty much the combo in the Goki deck or in the Goki, uh, like I guess inbox combo is pretty much to just summon one monster and have the attack go up to around as high as like 3,900 or even higher, which I think is kind of crazy. Um, you know, you can run it with ties that tilt, you know, pretty much the combo is to use Goki suplex to special summon uh, Twist Cobra. Twist Cobra's effect to tribute the suplex to boost the attack to 3,400. And then once you go to 3,400, you're gonna have this card you can discard from the hand for the rest of the points and go up to 3,900. Now, um, that's pretty interesting, but what's cool about the Goki monsters is Goki Suplex and also um, Goki uh, Risk Corpio. Uh, pretty much when these cards go to graveyard uh, by their, well, go to graveyard at all from the field, they can allow you to search your deck and then add a uh, Goki monster, I mean, well, a Goki card from your deck to the hand. And that's really good because um, if you're gonna be doing that Twist Cobra combo, um, there's like a couple of cards that you can just kind of grab. You can actually go ahead and grab a uh, Goki Cage Match because that is a Goki card. And uh, Cage Match is pretty good. Um, but I, I would say like in terms of like a Goki deck, um, being viable in the meta, I just don't know. It's kind of hard to say with um, everything that's going on, especially how Dark Magician has so much control and so much um, uh, so much of a good matchup against pretty much rogue style decks. It's gonna take a really powerful deck to kind of break 
um, through the meta of the Dark Magician, which will open up access to victory everywhere else. But right now, I really feel like, you know, there are some really interesting archetypes coming out of this box for sure. So we also have Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight, which is also a pretty good intro here um, into the Dark Side of Dimensions world. Um, so Yugi, as you know, has a uh, skill that works with Gaia the Fierce Knight monsters. And this card is pretty much like, you know, uh, I think Brad explained it more of saying it, it was like a cyber dragon that can boost the 3K. And that's pretty sick. So his effect reads, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from the hand. And uh, if a monster with attack higher than this card is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, except during a damage step, you can make this card gain 700 attack. So that's pretty nuts. You can make this card go up to 3000 and it's until the end uh, of the turn, of course, but um, it is a strong like offensive defender and then you'll next turn you'll have piercing with your Gaia monsters and probably be able to do some uh, other little Gaia based combos which I think could be pretty good so I don't know how meta breaking this card is going to be but I mean it is a decent uh, card to say the least and then um, we also have Gizemek Yada the gleaming vanguard and this is pretty much support for normal monsters and since we just got added in uh jesse break um and then we also have like meals and other things running around that's also something that's pretty cool this uh monster allows you to get an additional normal summon um which is also pretty good um uh, as you can just you know help put more monsters on the field for a bigger swarm so giza magiata is an interesting card um, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna provide some more support for decks that use a lot of uh, normal monsters. Also, there's this really sick card. It's called uh, Ghost Meets Girl, a Shiranui story. This card is actually pretty incredible for um, the zombie archetype, uh, for the uh, Shiranui archetype, you know, but I mean, it, it's just disgusting. So pretty much it says, discard zombie monsters special summon one Shiranui monster from your deck or the graveyard and pretty much you can't synchro summon unless you synchro summon zombie monsters for the rest of the turn and you can only play one of these per turn but it's pretty much just going to enable your synchro summoning so this is just busted but and uh it's going to make Shiranui and also the uh new fire zombie archetype even more powerful so this is just pretty pretty nuts as well so another monster I like a lot is Beast of the Pharaohs, which is another super rare monster in this deck. Uh, well, in this uh, box. And pretty much um, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard as a result of a synchro summon, you can special summon back a level four or lower uh, zombie monster. Um, and that's pretty nuts because you can combine it with um, the Daki, uh, the Graceful Mayakashi. And when you synchro summon and summon a level five Mayakashi uh, monster, uh, which is going to be the poisonous Mayakashi, um, that's going to also bring back the tuner and bring back the uh, the level uh, three monster. So it's pretty much going to put a five on the field, then an opportunity to make another five, and uh, an opportunity to uh or go to a level seven and just have a monster on the field so i mean that's just pretty nuts in and of itself and then that's all enabled by using ghost meets girl share a newly story so that's pretty good i really do think that that's um, a pretty excellent combo and additionally we have yuki uh the ice mayakashi and this card is really nuts because it allows you to continue that combo if you summon a uh, at my Akashi monster on the field, which ideally you probably summon um, the Daki, the graceful Mayakashi. You can go ahead and use Yuki's effect to special summon herself and a synchro summon into uh, a level three Mayakashi monster. And when you synchro summon into your level three, you know, you're gonna get the effect and special summon back and you can go into a five. And then once you go into the five, you know, there's just, just a lot of combos that you can do. So I really am enjoying these Mayakashi monsters as I'm continuing to read them. But again, we'll go more in detail uh, once we get into the live stream, my boys. All right, that's gonna be it for me, my boys. I've so, so far, I do think the 
Flames of Heart mini box is definitely going to be a mini box you kind of don't want to sleep on, which is my initial judgment. Uh, but of course, if you play something like Sheer Nui or any kind of zombie decks, if that has always been the type of gameplay that you enjoy, this is definitely a box you would not skip. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to come out of this box and with how the meta is going to form, my boys. But as always, thank you so much for watching and keep it day.